So, uh, Ricky, you've been with us for a long time now. Obviously, you're part of the National One winning side in 2013-14. And uh, you've seen the club progress, I guess, through uh, the three seasons under Clive, uh, despite obviously being a member of the uh, Leicester, Leicester Tigers side. Do you still uh, enjoy coming and playing at Castle Park? And what changes have you seen since you first started back in the uh, National One? Yeah, I do enjoy coming here because, you know, it's... It's a good bunch of lads, you know, the coaching group, the staff, all the stuff around is, is a really good. And it's, it's amazing how he progressed in three years from National 1, then back in champ, Championship, and then again Championship, like, top two. So, I mean, it's still and it's been amazing for me to get involved in the semi-finals as well. And, um, you know, it's good to see how the boys improving year by year. To, and, you know, they show as well that they, they just want to be champions. So... And uh, how is uh, training similar or different to do uh, what you do at Leicester? Is there uh, a lot of similarities or are they very different, the two ty different types of training that you do here and over at Welford Road? Um, it's pretty much this, uh, similar. I mean, uh, structure-wise, probably a bit different because mm. um, obviously the c type of rugby is um, a little bit less structure here, but it's, like, it's more likely that people just want to play around, which is good because, you know, you create a big tempo where maybe they're is like more structure so you've got a lot of uh, plays to go through and a lot of you know little calls to go through as well so i think that's mainly like structure wise i think but the physicality physicality is there i think from my point of view so and uh on sunday obviously yeah, you came on for for about the last 25 minutes at head and lean in a huge game what did you make of the uh, the match against leeds on saturday and uh, what are your thoughts going into this weekend obviously with the 13 point advantage the atmosphere, I think, was great um, to see a lot of fun from Doncaster coming there. I mean, it's not that far, but it's good to see the supporters come in, come in and see, watch the game. And I think all the atmosphere around the game, I know it's not probably, uh, it's not the biggest, but, it's, you know, for this club, I think for me as well, it was one big game because semis, Donny, you know. Um, and then we, we thought, we thought they get at the beginning we had the game and then you know Leeds is, had a good comeback so um, it was great atmosphere I can say hey again good atmosphere and you'll be expecting a tough game here on Sunday against Carnegie yeah probably because they they obviously gonna come back with something more I expect to so and then they you know playing here Castle Park big game for us and for them as well because you know it's 13 points is not 50 so you know be a tough game of the weekend again. Sure, and I mean, a lot's been made back uh, back in Leicester view of the success of the football team at the moment, Leicester City. What do you reckon? Do you think Doncaster Knights can be uh, rugby union's Leicester City this time? I <laughs> we hope so, you know. Um, but if we need to just keep keep doing what we, what Donny has done for for the for the all this year, so uh, just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep winning, keep uh, keep putting the effort, keep working hard. You know, Leicester City showed that. They don't have big names, but they just show that if you put a team all together and just crack on with their work out for each other, you know, you can do whatever, anything you want. So, thank you very much for talking to me, Ricardo. Thank you. Cheers.